اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we focused on a reflective formative higher order construct and how to use disjoint two-stage approach to validate the higher order construct. In this session, I'm going to discuss in detail how to report once your higher order reflective formative construct is validated. Link to the previous video is shared in the description. In this particular session, the focus is only on reporting your results. Now here I've got a template and as I start off with validating higher order internal marketing construct. Now internal marketing, here it is from my original model that we are assessing as part of the series. This is my higher order construct. These are my lower order constructs and this is my higher order reflective reflective construct that has been validated before. In order to assess how these constructs were validated, in order to find out the reliability and validity and how reflective reflective construct is validated or how lower order constructs are validated, I would request you to refer to previous sessions. Now, once I've got this model here, this is my internal marketing construct that is reflective at lower level, but at higher level, it is formative and the arrows are pointing towards the latent construct of IAM. All others are reflective and these are lower order constructs. Look at the indicators. And this is another reflective, reflective higher order construct. So it is reflective at the higher level. Now all these constructs have been validated and these others have been reported as well in the previous sessions. In this session, I'm going to report the higher order formative construct of internal marketing. A quick recap, this is validating reflective reflective higher order construct again the procedure remains the same you have to have your loadings alpha cr and ave and htmt and these were the results based on the validation of all the lower order constructs that is your first step so in the first step we validate all the lower order constructs now going back to the objective of this particular session that is validating the higher order construct internal marketing internal marketing was the higher order construct in the study based on three lower order constructs that is vision development and rewards and at lower level they were reflective a number of different steps are taken to validate the higher order construct that is higher order formative construct now what is your step one Step one in validating internal marketing as a higher order reflective formative construct involves a redundancy analysis that helps in establishing convergent validity and that we did in the last session practically. In formative measurement, model evaluation convergent validity actually refers to the degree to which formatively specified construct correlates with alternative reflectively measured variable. Now for this you need a global measure. To execute this procedure for determining convergent validity, researcher must plan ahead in research. This was discussed in the last session. Now, how do you plan ahead in research? They need to include an alternative measure of the formatively measured construct in their questionnaire. According to Chuya and others, you have to have a global single item which captures the essence of the construct under consideration. Now, in this case, I had one construct that is a global item and that actually asked about whether the respondents are happy with the vision development and rewards of the construct now once you have it and once you have collected data on it according to here at all correlation of formatively measured construct with the reflectively measured item should be 0 0.708 this implies that the construct explains more than 50 percent of the alternative measures variance now you simply need to look at the path coefficient and if it is greater than 0 0.708 you do not have any issue of convergent validity for your higher order formative construct now how to do this let's look at this now we have already done this you can have a look here now just simply run it pls algorithm and we have already done it previously as well this is 0.800 and you can simply say that yes, it is 0 0.800, which is greater than 0 0.708. So this step one is done. 
Now the next step involves assessing the variance inflation factor. And when the values are greater than 5, then you have collinearity issues. In this case, we do not have any collinearity issues. How? Have a look here. Let's go to reports, variance, inflation. Look at this. No values for this higher order construct are over 5. So no issues here. Now next, you assess the outer weights. This is step 3. And are your outer weights significant? In this case, I've reported them here. Look at this. These are the outer weights for vision development and rewards, that is the indicators or lower order constructs for this higher order construct of IM. Are they significant? Yes, no issues. Where are they? Just quickly, let me show you. You need to run bootstrapping for that. And here is my model. Let's go to calculate, bootstrapping. Let's leave it to default, start. Now, let's have a look at the reports and outer weights. Look at these outer weights significant and how do you report them just put it in here put in the t statistics put in their p values finally outer loadings where are the outer loadings here they are and where are they in the output here they are outer loadings have a look here outer loadings were greater than 0 0.50 are they yes and significant are they significant yes they are significant and significant for each of the indicators of the higher order formative internal marketing construct. Now, since we have seen that all the criteria to establish the validity for higher order construct are established, we can say that yes, internal marketing is a valid higher order reflective formative construct. This is how you can report your higher order reflective formative construct using Smart PLS 4. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to do the reporting. Thank you very much.